Come on in. Good morning and thanks for joining us here today in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Katie O'Neill. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV and our daily video. Today's video is so exciting. I can't wait to show you through this fantastic 2023 Dutch Star. All new, so much new to talk about today. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Please feel free to reach out to me during today's video. It is broadcast live from sunny Frederick, Colorado. And as usual, Jody, I would like to start from the inside out. So go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's video is so exciting because this is the all new 2023 Dutch Star. This is a brand new floor plan, brand new everything. This is the 4370 and man, oh man, is it spectacular. So uh, this model is featuring some really cool new, uh, new interior colors. This is the Driftwood high gloss uh, maple cabinetry, all new, not only color, but also finish. Uh, it is absolutely spectacular. As you can see, we still have our fantastic cathedral ceilings. Of course, this is a trademark of the Dutch Star, uh, but we've got all new interior tile throughout the coach. And this tile is integrated with our countertops as well. So our countertop has the same uh, material, high polish material throughout. And I just love the sparkle in the design. Uh, but what's really nice about this is there's just very little grout line. So very easy to maintain. Of course, we have an adjustable uh, rain shower head. This can go all the way up to the ceiling for those of you that are a little bit taller. We also have beautiful new uh, wand here. All of our finishes are upgraded for 2023. Uh, we still have our fantastic Aquaview system. So for those of you that are interested in this Aquaview system, uh, one of the things that's really fantastic about it is that it will help to reduce the amount of gray water storage that you're using. Uh, when you, this light is blue and you have this turned to recycle, it means the water's still cold. When this light turns red, it means that the water's now hot. You can set this into uh, flow. It will flow now instead of flowing from your fresh water tank of 105 gallons into your 75 gallon gray water tank. So while it's on recycle, you don't want to be in the shower because it's running that water out of your fresh water tank and back into it until it heats up. But it's so cool because it allows you to use a lot less gray water. And of course, people who have long hair just like to take long showers in general, gray water is a precious resource. Uh, one feature I really love about this coach are the towel racks on the outside of the doors here. Just super, super handy. And of course, what Dutch Star would be complete without the um, rope hook on the wall. It's also new for 2023. Um, and then some other new features for 2023. Um, I love this new flush design for the toilet. Uh, we get a little bit spoiled with all of these beautiful Dometic porcelain toilets. You know, these are just standard to us in our mindset, but they're just so nice, uh, so robust and sturdy. And it's important, like the room here is really comfortable. It's good, even though you've got this huge bathroom, this huge shower. Um, now, of course, look at all of this great access to your cabinet space. And this, ca this uh, closet is so roomy. Uh, this does have the optional shoe closet. So as you can see, there's a nice place to keep all of your shoes back here. Uh, and then over here on the right, just below the safe, there's some more shelving. Um, but one of the things I really like a lot about this closet is this overhead storage where you can put shoe boxes all the way across. Just super nice to have that extra storage. And of course, in typical Numar fashion, they have little chains here so that you don't bang your nice cabinets against your countertops. Just really great attention to detail. Uh, as mentioned, uh, this countertop has uh, got a new edging to it. It's a countertop that we did have last year in terms of the color, but the edging is all different from this, or is all new this year. So are these beautiful hauling undermount sinks. Um, just absolutely exquisite glass sinks. They've got a really nice sparkle to the bowl, really accentuated by our new backsplash and our new vanity lights. And look at all of this room. 
such a huge medicine cabinet. Of course, all carpet lined, so no rattles. And I love the fact that you could keep your hair dryer and your flat iron plugged in and stowed all in one place. Just take it out, use it, close it back up, put it away. Super simple. Of course, nothing would be complete without lots and lots of full extension storage. So that traditional Numar soft closed drawer, great storage, lots of room for towels and linens underneath the sinks. And then you'll notice I'm standing on the engine cover. This is a rear engine diesel. Uh, 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. But the cool thing about this engine cover is that it's heated. So this is one of three zones throughout the coach that is heated with an electric floor. So uh, it does have hydronic uh, heat in this coach, but the hydronic heat is not referring to those in-floor heating. It's actually referring to the, uh, the li I'm sorry, the lithium ion batteries. I'm getting so excited about the lithium ion batteries already. No, it's referring to the hydronic heat, which is a tube of glycol that runs underneath the coach. Uh, there's a dual loop system here uh, in this Dutch Star. It's uh, the dual loop Chinook system by Oasis. And what that does is it runs a loop of hydronic heat that gets nice and hot and it pushes uh, warm air out of these vents so that you can keep your coach nice and toasty even on the coolest of mornings. Now, this is a 43 foot Dutch Star. So when you are a 43 foot coach in Dutch Star, you get a 10 kilowatt, uh, yeah, 10 kilowatt uh, Onan quiet diesel generator. And you also get three uh, Penguin heat pumps and air conditioners. So those three heat pumps and air conditioners are really beautiful and they're, they're ducted. So they're actually um, giving me nice cool breeze here on the inside. But when they're, they're operating below 32 to 38 degrees, they have a hard time heating. So this in-floor heating and hydronic heat is gonna be really important for those of you who want more of an all season coach or who just simply wanna be able to warm the coach to a nice toasty temperature without hearing that blowing noise that you hear from the fans. Uh, now we mentioned that this is a ducted system. Take a look at these new uh, ceilings. This is brand new for 2023, redesigned. Um, the fascia on the slide outs is also all new. Uh, the headboard has been redesigned. All of the interiors are redesigned and I do have a little sneak peek at what it looks like to look at those. Um, but I wanted to just show some cool things. Jody, if you just take your, keep your camera on the headboard, I'm gonna turn off some of these rear lights so that we can really see what makes uh, everything so special. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off all of the master lights. And then I'm gonna go into the bedroom and I'm gonna turn on just the accent lights. Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? Or I can turn on just my reading lights. Or I can turn on just my courtesy lights. Now you'll notice my courtesy lights are really, really nice white light. Uh, what's so cool about this is if I wanna be able to see at night but I don't wanna have a lot of light on in the RV, I can do that by really fine tuning all of my lights. And one of the nice features for 2023 is not only can you do this by this new 10 and a half, uh, and this 10 and a half inch control panel here in the center of the coach, but you can also do it by with an app on your phone. So you can really kind of fine tune, like I wanna have my reading lights on, left reading light, right reading light, accent lights, overhead dresser lights. Everything can be done with a touch of a button right here or on your phone and that's all new for 2023. So in 2022, we came up like leaps and bounds. We came up with an all lights off feature so you could turn all your lights off from the coach. Well, that was really nice, but all lights on, oh my gosh, you have no idea how excited I am about that. Um, now, something that we've taken from the King Air, we came up with this great idea where you could run your cords just out of the little cubby right here. So you've got your 110 and your USB ports underneath. Uh, but you could run your cords out so that if you had a CPAP machine that you wanted to keep here under the bed, please note that I'm doing this with one hand. This is such a great little hydraulic system for the under bed storage. And do note, there's a ton of storage. There's also your two leafs for your extendable dinette. Uh, the booth is standard on the, on the 4370 floor plan, and there's a newly designed and enhanced chair. So I took that out so I could show that to you in a few minutes. Um, but on either side of this, you can see there's plenty of room for a CPAP machine so you don't have to store it above your heart. They're supposed to be stored closer to heart level, so that's great. Um, also, you still have your great overhead storage where if you'd like to keep your laptop charged and running, you can go ahead and use this little grommet that comes through right here and plug it into your 110, 
run those cords down, have everything charged for you. So if you wanted to sit in bed and get some work done, maybe catch up on some pictures or emails in the morning very comfortably from this bed. Um, another great feature, I love the smoked mirror that you have here just above the chair rail. And you'll find that there's also new artwork throughout the entire coach as we go through. Uh, in our standard and fantastic um, Dutch starter tradition, we still have great wardrobe space and then these full extension drawers that come all the way past so you can still get into the drawers uh, below the wardrobe without having to reach underneath. Um, now I do have the MCD shade control out here. Now I can control this with my 10 and a half inch center panel, but I just wanted to show how easy it is to go ahead and put down your day shades and then how easy it would be to put up your night shade. So let's say it's time to wake up in the morning. Instead of having to run around and pull the shades up and down on uh, either side of the bed, as well as above the dresser. I've just put down my day shades, pulled up my night shades. Of course, I do have uh, screens on either side for cross ventilation. So just really fantastic execution. And also, you're gonna find that throughout the coach, not only do you have all new uh, fascias, but you also have all new sliding pocket doors. So beautiful, nice inlaid woodwork. Very, very thick, sturdy uh, to keep the Oh, did I forget the washer and dryer? Jody's telling me I forgot to mention the washer and dryer, and it's true because I wanted to also bring up, uh, I love the way that they've reinforced this this year. So you've got your Splendid washer and dryer, stackable of course, but they've given you an extra little brace to keep it nice and sturdy and in place. Of course, this isn't just a great place to do laundry, um, which of course it is because it's right next to the bed. Uh, but it's also a great place just to keep campfire clothes. Like if you come out of, you know, your evening and your jeans kind of smell yucky and smoky, it's a really great place just to keep them so that you don't have that permeating throughout the coach itself. Uh, so now we're entering into our new uh, mid bath. Uh, oh, I've got the lights turned off. Well, no problem there. I can go ahead with my lighting package and go into my bath and turn all my lights on. Oops. Look at that. And then also you'll note that I have my shade controls here. So really nice that you've got your MCD power shade package. Now, of course, this is an optional package on the Dutch Star. This is not standard. And then of course we still have our center control with our really nice and neatly uh, labeled light or um, switches. And then a ton of room here. So if this is a his and hers coach and someone wakes up in the morning and wants to have a uh, claim to this bathroom, this would be a great score. This is a fantastic coach. And again, I love this new switch. Up to fill the tank, down to flush the tank. A hard lever is so much better for me. I cannot tell you um, how many times I've been fishing around at night trying to figure out where that little soft button is. So it's nice that they've actually given you a pronounced switch for the dark. Um, I love that. And I know we did this last time. Jody, you ready? There we go. Look at that size of that medicine cabinet. And of course, all carpet lined. And again, all these new faucets. This is that beautiful glass sink. Once again, I just love these vessel sinks, but this is uh, mimicking what you find in a master bath as well. So if you'll notice this door, the way it pivots, this is so cool. This is so that when we have our slides in, you can enter and exit into this door so conveniently. Um, but this high gloss material uh, is just absolutely exquisite. It feels very dressy in here, but I love the light cabinet. And it's nice. It's not yellow. It's not white. It's just this nice light gray color, very neutral. Uh, and then here, take a look at this. I love on the Dutch Star when you open the door, all of the lights come on. And you've just got this push to release with a full extension pantry. You've got six huge drawers, really deep, uh, very good full access all the way through at different heights so you can keep different things in here. Just a great pantry, tons of space here. Um, again, this is the 4370. Now we've got our wonderful Whirlpool 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator, but one thing, uh, they had to improve everything, right? I love the way they have this little tilt out drawer. So if you've got your milk, you can get it in there and then close it and you're not trying, you don't have to raise the level of your uh, drawer controls. Now, of course, this does have a whole house water filter, but there's another water filter here. 
inside of your refrigerator. And some other nice little features, like I love the fact you can slide down that drawer. Great neat drawer storage. We use this all the time. And then the water dispenser on the outside is really nice. Here in the freezer, you'll note uh, we've got an ice maker and then lots of storage down here as well. And then just to the right of the refrigerator, we're entering into this kitchen. So I love, love, love this kitchen. Oh, here, let's do this, Jody. Let's go ahead. You don't have to show it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go here to the center. I'm going to go to my lighting control, get my shades up. Did we show this, Jody? I don't think that I've showed this yet. Can I, can, do you mind coming up here? I apologize. I'm going to have you come up here just so we can show this. So I do want to show, so one of the things that's really nice about this is here's our lighting control. This is how we pair our Bluetooth app. This is our HVAC control, so you can see your kitchen, your living room, and your bedroom, everything here in the center. You also have all of your fan control. You've got your floor zone control. You can see all of your electricity. You can see what's running, like we've got the generator on right now. Um, you can also see what you're, what you're using um, and any kind of errors you might have come up, if it's too hot, if it's too cold, anything along those lines. So all of this is really, really uh, very handy to have at your fingertips. And uh, if we haven't mentioned it yet, we do have, of course, our central vac optional here in this coach. Um, the kick plate, of course, is my favorite, everly useful. But I do want to go ahead and put up, uh, this is the optional kitchen window. So we're going to go into our all night up and you'll see just how much uh, window space you have in this kit, in this RV. So much beautiful space, but so easy to operate, open and close everything throughout the coach. Let that light in. So this is just a great feature. I love these MCD power shades. One of the things that I really like about the Dutch Star is that you do have your uh, openings of your windows here so you can get fresh ventilation all throughout the front and rear of the coach. So if you want to get that breeze kind of going through there, you can do that. And I know that there's a place where I can, oh, there it is, TV up. That's what I was looking for, there it is. So you got, of course, your 50-inch uh, smart TV. Um, there's a few new systems uh, for Wi-Fi in this coach. We actually have a more robust system for those of you who would like to do your streaming. Uh, standard, you're going to have this beautiful 50-inch uh, TV on the Televator with your Bose soundbar overhead. Um, lots of storage up here if you want to keep some DVDs. Um, this little spot here is all wired with HDMI if you wanted to have a Blu-ray player. Uh, and, of course, we can also always do any of the satellite system receivers if you are into that satellite television still. I know that for a lot of people who are AVS fans, uh, the DirecTV is going to be the one that they want because that's the only one that broadcasts those games. And for those AVS fans, we have this nice system. Of course, when you're driving down the road, you don't want your televator up. So a nice 43-inch uh, uh, smart TV, uh, 4K smart TV at the front of the head as well. Okay, so back to this kitchen. Uh, one of the things to note here, again, look at this beautiful new backsplash. Just so pretty. Now, in our uh, traditional Dutch Star uh, configurations, we've always had these little cutting boards on the back of your covers. So we've gone ahead and continued with that. And we also have the true induction cooktop that is removable to take outside. Uh-oh, I don't know what that was. Um, but so this true induction cooktop that you can take outside is really important. Um, for me, I use all clad uh, kitchenware in our RV and I really love it, but we are always using um, this outside because when I'm making bacon, I don't want it to be smelly inside of the coach or for making fish. And then here's your 30 inch microwave and convection oven. Such a nice feature. Uh, this is a removable rack. You can leave it in while you're microwaving, but you can also take it out if you'd like to, for instance, make Thanksgiving dinner in your RV. Love that. Uh, what would we be without a million remotes? Now, please note that this is the remote for your Gerard awning. Uh, these are for your televisions. This one remote will operate all your TVs. So outside, inside, and in the bedroom. So you don't actually have to like have them labeled. Um, I didn't know that until I bought my Numar in December. 
And then I was like, oh, well, that's really cool. So I use my dishwasher all the time as a drying rack. So, and then like when we get home, maybe I'll just run it through a cycle before I put all the dishes away from our camping trip. It's just super cool. Look at all this storage here. I love these drawers. Such a nice place to be able to keep your spatulas, um, all of your cooking mitts, you know, cheese graters. Don't forget your scissors at home. That's the one thing people never have scissors and when they move in here, they always need to have a pair of scissors. Um, now I know we mentioned that we were talking about this driftwood um, on the interior, but we should also talk about the Camelot. So the Camelot interior is what's giving you all of these beautiful valances. Um, and this beautiful gray color interior. But if it's not your taste and maybe you want something a little more beige, I did bring out the sample books today just to kind of show you. We have these wonderful sample books that show you all the different wood colors. Um, you can see all the graphics. Today we're looking at the dolly on the exterior, uh, the camelot on the interior. But as you can see, the dolly exterior, although it's rather gray, is paired with a beige on the inside. Um, so for those of you that are looking to custom order a coach, that's something I would highly recommend. Uh, last year, the Allura is very similar to a, coach, a color that we had um, on the exterior of a Super C. People just love this teal and off-white you know, color combination. So all of these things are available to you, and you can really pick and choose and make your dreams come true and have exactly the RV that you're looking for. Um, so I encourage you, you know, it's never a bad idea to special order. Now, this is the new Euro booth that's standard on the 4370. I just want to show you how much room you can have. So this is just one leaf. There's two leafs uh, worth of extension here. So you can get this way, way out here. Um, so you have got so much room for dining. And then one of the things that they've done this year is they've actually uh, improved the width of this seat so it's just a little more comfortable a little less narrow uh, really nice if you're dining and of course if you had you know a full family sitting down for dinner you could actually have all six people around the coach uh, so i am going to go ahead and put this on the bed i'm going to bring the bed in because so i do want to show off the exterior of this uh, our, again this is an electric slide here but the new hydraulic slides in the front are what have allowed us to offer a dinette on the passenger side of the coach. I always say party in the front, business in the back. A lot of times when you pull into your campgrounds, they'll have more of your hookups on the driver's side and more of your campground settings on the passenger side. Uh, what we've been able to do with this new hydraulic system is we've actually been able to give you not only a uh, booth on the passenger side, but also still giving you that full height of basement storage. So you'll see that when we go outside pretty exciting. Um, another new feature for 2023 is going to be this wonderful farm style sink. I just want to show you this is a dual basin. So nice and I love the fact that there's a differentiation from left to right. So a little bit bigger basin on the right side. New faucets once again. Still all of that great storage throughout the front galley. I mean look at all of this room so much room and it's important to show inside of these because in some of our coaches we'll have wiring behind them but as you can see here in this Dutch star we've been able to give you the full entire cabinet space there uh, which is awesome this does have the optional theater seats so this is a theater seating package um, these are new for this year all of the furniture has actually been redesigned uh, you'll note that we also have along with this Camelot interior um, a beautiful uh, execution here where you've got not only their great storage nicely tucked the whole way through um, but this really nicely look at this way this wood is finished so these are really beautiful um, window decorations just nicely uh, achieved and then um, on top of that you also have on the inside here you can show that Jody we have the USB port on the control and then full extension is quite roomy, quite luxurious here. And then I have all of my light controls right here. Um, one of the nice features here, if you'll notice, I just hit backlighting. So I've been able to turn off all of these, gl these blue glowy lights. So if you are out up at night and you need to be able to see what you're doing, you can turn them on or off, but they go all the way off. So if you do have people 
that are camping with you that are sleeping up here, you can turn this off. It's a really nice feature, um, certainly worth mentioning. Um, now, so you'll note that there are also little footers down here on these couches now. Just little details. Like I said, that's so fantastic. So many manufacturers these days are cutting back where Numar is actually doing the opposite. They are, uh, they are not only charging forward, they're enhancing and, in, and increasing the quality of the product that they put out uh, for the customer. Um, you know, and I think it shows through in a lot of the actions that they take. So for instance, if you need service on your Numar, you can come here for service, but you can also come, oh, I need to get that release. There we go. Uh, you can also come to Numar. I mean, one of, the, one of the few manufacturers in the world that is not only willing to, you know, take responsibility for their product, they actually have uh, 62 parking spots and 50 service bays uh, for their clients to be able to come in and have their coaches serviced. Uh, you know, they're in Napanee, which I think is just so fantastic. Now, of course, if you were to, there's two of these, Jody, just in case anyone was wondering. Um, this is the trifold. Uh, the trifold is really cool. This comes with a theater seat package. Um, but as you can see, it's got tons and tons of room. So really nice, big bed, very comfortable. Uh, your hip sits in the right spot, so the brakes are in the right place in the bed. And it's really easy to put in and out. But no, so if you decide that you are interested in a Numar and you shop with TransWest, there's so many features that you get that make us worth working with. Um, one of the most important features is, so this Dutch Star comes standard on a Freightliner chassis, right? It's also available on a Spartan chassis. We have both uh, Freightliner and Spartan certification here at our store. We have one whole side of our property dedicated to chassis service, while we have another whole side of our property dedicated to house service. Now when I say house, that's not just Numar house service, it's Winnebago, it's Renegade, and it's also uh, it's also Prevo's elite emerald uh, chassis or house service as well. So we have a lot of really nice Highline uh, manufacturers available here. And then on top of it to boot, uh, and just to give a little more credibility to what is also a really well-known and fantastic company, TransWest has their own RV company. We have uh, Summit Body Works and Ant we have Antero. We actually manufacture a B-Class RV. I mean, how many dealerships do you know that have that type of prowess and experience where they're actually building their own product? So really, really cool. Okay, so let's talk about, this is all the interior stuff. Now I wanted to show you, so for those of you that are out there in the world, if you're interested in learning more about this product, I would be happy to email to you uh, these spec sheets. I can also send to you the product and updates uh, for changes for 2023. Um, we've got the window stickers available. I do, of course, full notes for every video that I do just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And I still miss a ton of stuff. These are live videos. There's so much information to cover. Um, but, you know, I have all of these things that I would be more than happy to share with you um, if you're looking to learn more about this product because there's just so many wonderful things about these Dutch stars and Ventanas and Superstars and Bay Stars. Uh, to know and there's differentiations as you go up and down the product line but to be very candid with you even at the most base entry product with Numar you're getting a fantastic coach it really comes down to what kind of engine you'd like and what kind of power you need um, and also haptic feedback so new in 2023 one of my favorite features of this coach uh, that's improved so you'll see this whole dash has been redone in 2023 your lane tracking package is standard so if you have lane departure it will actually buzz your seat which i think is so good because i mean honestly that's what we've all become accustomed to uh, in our cars and so it's just it only makes sense that you'd have it in these big rvs they also have a bonded driver's side window so keeping that wind noise down is just awesome but, you know for 2023 another new feature um, now you'll note that we do have our traditional HWH uh, hydraulic leveling system. This is also the same system that's powering our hydraulic slides. Our slides are what allow us to have what is called more floor. So if Jody's going to go ahead and pan on back now and show you what more floor is. More floor is no carpet throughout this coach. So as you can see, this entire vehicle is carpet free. 
and that's so nice it's just so much easier to keep clean especially under the sink area definitely one of the benefits to buying a Dutch Star um, for sure and you know that hydraulic leveling system is um, such a nice feature because in this system you can actually uh, see it'll show you whether or not your level and, and where you're where you're actually uh, angling so when you pull into a site you can know whether or not your front or rear you know is is where the premise is or I'm sorry the um, the weight is, is uh, heaviest but on top of it when you go to set this it will automatically dump your rear uh, airbags so that your uh, end is a little bit lower so you're not going to hyper extend your front levelers if you do have a nose freight nose uh, nose biased uh, parking spot which of course most spots are um, so that's super cool gosh it is so hot outside just so you know folks it's gonna be 97 here today we broke a record yesterday I'm sure you're all in the same boat um, but on that note this coat this coach is running off of its 10 kilowatt Onan diesel quiet generator um, when I say quiet generator, literally, like it's underneath in front of me and it's on. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about the chassis changes for 2023. And in order to do that, Jody, let me know when you're in on that dash because I'm going to turn it on and I want to show how cool this dash is when it comes on. This is the new Freightliner dash and it's just awesome. Look at that. Man, have we come a long way. I get in some of these coaches with these beautiful, you know, steel trimmed gauges and I go, wow. But I mean, this is so much better. So you can see how fast you're going. You've got a digital display showing you what your fuel capacity is. Um, you can see your RPMs, you can see your miles per hour, but then I can go to home. And when I go to home, I can do all sorts of fun things. So I can go down here to menu off and go back to the gauges or I can go here and change for instance my steering effort so if I want to use comfort drive and now for those of us who aren't familiar with what comfort drive is if I'm driving down the road and there's a crosswind this coach I can turn up and down how much my wheel is resisting the wind um, so I, if I don't want it to interfere with my driving I can turn all the way down to the lowest setting but as you can see, there's 10 different levels of setting. I can set this coach. So if I'm in 80 mile an hour, you know, crosswinds coming down, you know, I-70, instead of me fighting the wind, this coach is fighting it for me by holding my steering wheel straight. So I just love that. And it's so easy to get to now. Uh, the other thing that's really nice to look at, so you've got your fuel economy. You can see what you're averaging in terms of overall fuel efficiency, but your mobilized system. So you can actually see your warning distance and you can set it to let you know whether or not you're too close. Um, this, this customer has it set for far. You could set it for medium. You can also set, you, you've got a brand new uh, headlight system with intelligent high beams that you can turn on and off right here. So intelligent high beams, I think a lot of us have become used to those. That's where you can turn your brights on so that when you're going through windy passes, if someone's coming towards you, you're not going to blind them. They're going to go down to their regular uh, brightness, but they'll go back up to high as soon as you pass that person. So such a cool thing to have all these things. And again, your lane departure can be set for low sensitivity, high sensitivity, or it can be disabled. That's a huge feature. A lot of people are like, hey, man, I'm in the mountains. I'm driving over these lines. Really easy to get to to turn that off and then to turn it back on when you're done. Another thing that I really love about this is that you can actually see your speed limit alert. So if you have a tendency to have a lead foot, you can make sure that you're going to be safe here. So all of these new features that you see um, available in your, uh, in your RV are something that we've become so used to. And so right here you can see this is the cruise control setting and this is the number of car lengths that they have set in front of them. So you've got a 3.3 3 .3 and 3.6 uh, second stopping distance that you can set this to. And if you're in heavy traffic and you want to be able to set your cruise control to a safer following distance, you can still do that. So this is just a really, really nice upgraded dash. Uh, the dashes are upgraded for both Spartan and for uh, Freightliner. So both of them are improved. Uh, you've got a nine and a half inch display here that is giving you a standard. You're going to have so many fantastic controls, but this camera control is one of my very favorites. I love the 360 degree camera where you can see overhead. 
And then of course, I, depending on uh, what, if I've got my trailer and I'm trying to put my Jeep on, I can choose a different view so I can look down and see whether or not I'm lining up or I could do my rear view so I can see what's going on behind me. And what's nice about this is I can leave this on while I'm driving down the road and still be using my uh, Bluetooth, using my HDMI, using my radio and new in 2023 Wait for it folks, yes, not even kidding. Apple CarPlay is now integrated into your dash. Um, I have a ton of leaflets and handouts on how to make all this stuff work for those of you that are interested. And we can go ahead and turn this off now. Now you'll note that when we turn this off, you don't hear the engine still. That is one of the benefits for having a rear engine diesel. So of course this is gonna be, um, the Dutch Star is a 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot pounds of torque, 15,000 pound towing capacity, rear engine diesel so this thing is a monster uh, this is on the l9 uh, cummins chassis i'm sorry l9 um, cummins engine on the freightliner chassis with lots of nice drawer storage to keep your wallet and your cell phone you've got a wireless charging dock here you also have pedal control so you can bring your pedals in and out so if you want them to if you're taller and you want to sit closer you can put them further away for me of course i need to put them all the way out as far as i can uh, you've got a three-stage engine brake as well and of course it's very nice this customer centric ergonomic setting that you have here where everything is facing you so that while you're driving down the road you can see everything around you very easily uh, now right above my head you're going to find the center control for the main operation of this coach uh, awning controls and lights right here so this is just to put your awnings in and out these are your slide controls this is your Oasis control. Uh, one of the things I really like about the Oasis system, when I'm plugging into 50 amp, I'm probably gonna be set to AC too. Uh, but when I take a shower, I'll probably turn the burner on. Uh, the reason I would do that is because it would just give me that little extra boost and extra filament getting my water all that much hotter. Um, as you can see here, you've got all of your power control systems. Now keep in mind, a lot of this stuff you can see now in that center display panel. This used to be the only way that we could see things. Same thing with our magnum inverter. We, can, we used to only be able to see it up here. This little tiny LED this way. Now you've got it right there in the middle of the coach. Uh, as you can see here, this has got the four 110 now as opposed to 100 watts of uh, solar on top. So 440 uh, watts of solar coming in. And then you've got your Gerard awning controls here. Uh, also, you'll note that we do have really nice lights as well. Um, Security lights are off. You turn those on. Oh, yeah, it looks like, oh, you know what? I probably turn them on again through the center control panel. Uh, your wine guard here, this is the Razor antenna. This is just a digital antenna. So instead of having the one that you have to hand crank, this is nice. It'll kind of go through and find out how many stations you have. Uh, it's funny, the drier it is, the less stations it seems we have. Sometimes we'll have up to 16 on like overcast days. Uh, but right now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and have Jody turn around. We're gonna take a look now at these slides coming in. Oh, if I want them to come in, I should probably push the in button instead of the out button, huh, Jody? Yeah, it helps. Probably helps. So this is just such a cool feature. Now, if you read your manual, which I always recommend you do, um, your manual would like you to have your generator running even if you're plugged into 50 amp when operating your slides. Uh, these slides, we would like them to have as much power as they need. Um, now, when, let's talk about power because, again, this has got the brand new uh, Lithionics in, um, battery system. So, two huge Lithionics batteries and a th room for a third as, as well. Um, but let's talk about power. Where does your power come from? Number one source of power in an RV is always going to be your generator. Uh, so your generator is always going to be the predominant source of power when you're plugged into 50 amp and your generator's on, it's going to be pulling off of the generator. Number two source of power is going to be your 50 amp power. Number three is going to be your battery power. So that solar is putting more juice into your batteries, if you will, um, but so is driving down the road. Um, you know, there's different ways to, to achieve that maximum uh, load. What is important to understand is that you don't use that battery power unless you're boondocking. So, so for some of you uh, that are really excited about this lithionic system, it's not inexpensive. It may be overkill, you may not need it. So I would certainly love to hear from you first. Um, you know, it's, it's important to understand if you're typically plugged into 50 amp power and you're camping at resorts a lot of the time, 
it may not be the best spend of money. You might want to take that extra dollar and, um, I don't know, take me to Fiji. <laughs> Jody, I'm a genius, huh? You go ahead and step out on it, buddy. You want to go backwards? Um, so on our way out, we're going to show, we've got our new, um, new uh, designed uh, passenger and driver side chair. This uh, passenger chair is the extra wide version. Um, I've got a lot of folks that might choose to have this version for uh, their small pooch. They got a dog that they want to carry with them. That's good. Also here on this, uh, on this model, you'll see that we still have our traditional workstation, which comes out, up, and then over. And then right here, you'll see that we also have a wireless charging dock, a few USB ports here, a few more here, 110 outlets as well. Uh, so lots of functionality here. And then uh, right below the stairs, you're going to find one of my favorite features, which is a great place for you to keep things like dog food, leashes, anything along those lines that you might need. Is that working? Look at that. Oh, wow. That's like a new, this is a new Vanna. <laughs> so great place for storage underneath. I knew that was going to happen. Um, now, one of the nicer features, I think, of uh, the Numar product is going to be the fact that we have remote baggage lock and unlock. So you actually have a remote control, but there's also a little panel here as well for locking and unlocking your your um, your basement. And then that's where your house battery disconnect is. I am going to go ahead and turn the generator off. So it's a little bit quieter. Now, one of the main benefits of having a diesel pusher as opposed to a front engine diesel, like my Superstar, is that your generator is underneath the front. So if you have your um, auto gen start set so that if you get below a certain temperature, your generator comes on so you can run your air conditioner while you're boondocking. In the summertime, it can be kind of loud. So it's really nice um, to have that up in the front as opposed to underneath your bed. Now, let's go ahead and show really nice screen door. There's a snap. This whole top screen actually releases. So if you have your fuzzy friends inside, and you're bringing groceries up and down the stairs, sometimes there's a propensity for that kitty or puppy to get out. This is such a nice feature. You can actually open that whole top screen on the Dutch Star and hand groceries over so that your friendly pooch, of course, doesn't get in and out. Another idea would be to use the egress door in the bathroom to load and unload things, because uh, of course, then you could just close that door. Uh, now, another feature that I really like about this, so we do have a new door, um, but what we, don't, what we didn't change is this fantastic entry pad and doorbell. So as you know, in all of my videos, Jody's always ringing the doorbell when he comes to start off our video. It's really nice, honestly. I can't tell you how many times, I think if you didn't notice, I still had my highlighter in my hand today because I'm you know, rapidly highlighting and making sure I try to remember all the new features. Um, something I wanted to bring uh, to your attention though is tire uh, tires. So these are really important when it comes to road noise, it, when it comes to the grab on the freeway, when it comes to comfort, when it comes to quiet. Uh, this is a 36570R22. These are huge. Um, so not only do you have an independent front suspension, uh, which separates the Numar Dutch Star from the Ventana, but tire size amongst manufacturers. Numar has an X-rated tire in the front and a Z-rated in the back. They're very, very specific about how they want these uh, coaches rubbered up and it's important because it really improves your drive uh, characteristics when you're going down the road and as you know this is a big machine you want to be comfortable driving down the road uh, now this is a dual fill and on the 43 foot 150 gallon capacity for fuel with a 15 gallon def tank uh, new this year we have not only a front end cap and back end cap redesign we've got a door redesign so all of the doors are designed so there's no more slamming this, of course, is our Dometic freezer and refrigerator on a slide. Super nice, full extension. And when I say full extension, I mean all the way out, which means if you have your slide out and you need to get to your freezer, you still have access. So this is just another example of Numar really thinking about the consumer and what they need. Another great thing, of course, if you're trying to load your freezer, you need a place to put stuff down. So having a little tray above your freezer is so handy. Uh, this customer has also got all of the uh, slides or all of the slide trays underneath. So in our uh, star foundation, we have what's called a strong, true and robust 
system. So I'm going to open this up, Jody, so that you can just show the customers. Um, one of the things that really makes a big difference in the Numar product is the fact that we have um, this, this, tubu this tubular steel that is actually taking the weight from the heaviest point of the coach and bringing it into the center and then raising uh, the chassis rail off of, or raising the floor off of the chassis rail. What we have not been able to do in the past is give you this entire amount of basement storage. So this is a really great new feature for 2023. As you can see, you have your regular basement height doors, even though you have a uh, passenger side uh, booth dinette. And then these are really great. They're a thousand pound weight rated. And again, new doors that are super easy to close. Um, oh, this is the porcelain tile. Uh, that's also new for 2023. I don't, is there anything that's not new? Of course, there's a lot of stuff that we've done well for a long time. For instance, the 43 TV or inch television on the outside. It's just where you'd like to have it. Again, another Samsung smart TV, uh, another Bose sound bar. Um, but yeah, so there's just so many great new features in this coach. Here's another one of your slides. Here's your road vac. So again, we talked about that central vac system. You can also run it outside here. So if you want to vacuum off your children or your dog before you get packed up and ready to head out, you can. Uh, that's your master control for your uh, awning. So if you ever have a hard time bringing your awning in, maybe your battery is low on your remotes, that's your master control right there. There's also a few 110 outlets so if you want to make me a margarita. I'm sure it's margarita time somewhere in the world. If you're already there, here's your top shelf. Uh, display so this is supposed to be used for tire shine and like oil and stuff but I mean don't you think like your Patron your Grey Goose all your mixtures down below I don't know it seems like a more efficient use of space um, now of course this is a tag axle this is what gives you that great prowess and steady feeling going down the road but again look at these tire sizes 315 80 22.5 I mean, these are huge, super wide tires. So you've got six tires back here. Um, and when you see the center in like this, that's gonna be a forward rotating uh, wheel. If you've got an Audi as opposed to an Inny, that means that this pivots. So this actually has the ability at 20 miles an hour or lower where the pin releases uh, from the caliper, it allows the wheel to pivot, making this your turning radius from this wheel to the front as opposed to that rear, giving you a much, much more nimble coach, much more easy to park. As you can see, we have all the extra security lights out here. Those are great for when you're trying to like, you know, get set up. Maybe you took a little bit longer to get through traffic than you expected, or you had to leave work a little late. So nice to have those security lights for setting up while you're getting to your campsite. Uh, here's one half of your fueling station. Again, you've got a 15 gallon DEF tank. Here's your egress door. And as you can see, these uh, Gerard awnings have lights underneath. I've got the lights out, but look at how they pivot down. So they kind of angle down, giving you a little more protection from the sun. And one of the things that I've found with our awning package is I'm rarely using both at the same time. Typically, one of the, or the other is covering the part of the campsite that I need. But another thing that's really nice about having them separate is that if there's a tree in the way, maybe I can't use one. Maybe only I only have enough room to put one out and the other one has to stay uh, tucked in. So that we've run into that situation quite a few times in our Superstar. So it's really nice that you've got the separate awning package and it covers the entire length of the coach. Um, so here in the back, uh, we've got a beautiful new rear end cap. Uh, these lights are really, really big. They're very pronounced. All of them, of course, are LED, giving you faster illumination. So better stopping time if somebody's uh, behind you. Again, on our uh, Freightliner chassis, we're gonna have a lot of standard features. Uh, brake sync's one of my favorite. Uh, brake sync actually keeps an extra uh, charged uh, uh, air tank underneath your coach so that if you lose power to your brakes, you still have uh, power uh, reserved, or braking power reserved for your tow vehicle. And it's all pre-wired for you. You've got your seven pin connector here, of course. 15,000 pound towing capacity. Um, and then I wanted to show you the marriage of this beautiful Cummins engine to this Freightliner chassis. And again, this is available in both Spartan and Freightliner. And both uh, manufacturers are fantastic and have great support ne networks. And what's really lovely about this though, is you can see the marriage of the Cummins 
all in red to the Freightliner, all in black. This is your overflow tank for your Oasis system. If you mention that you've watched my video, I will give you a free gallon of Oasis juice. Without this juice, no hot water, no hydronic heat. Now in your case, because you've got heated floors, you'd still be okay in terms of staying warm, but it might make for a cold shower in the morning. So please mention that you've watched my video when you come in and we'd be happy to give you a free gallon of this juice. Uh, now, again, really nice access here to the engine. And that's because your radiator on the Dutch Star is on the driver's side. So you'll see that right around the corner here. And then right past the radiator, there's that other depth fueling station. Uh, this little compartment's really handy. This coach does have a Cytocon system. Uh, but what's really nice about this, you can keep a gravity hose here just in case. Um, but more importantly, keep your gloves here. I mean, it's kind of gross to be underneath there. You can keep some wet wipes and some gloves in here. We keep a box of the Clorox wipes and our gloves in this little compartment here. Great place for that. Again, great placement for a security light, giving you a little extra illumination if you get in late. And then look at this water bay. So nice. So as you can see, your SantaCon system gives you a much smaller uh, sewage hose, but we still have our hot and cold water um, for our outdoor shower. I love that there's a paper towel dispenser here. Uh, and then we also have gray water and black water uh, rinse in the 2023 model for the tanks. And you'll also see that we have, again, that whole house water filter as well. Uh, this is a 50 foot power cord. Um, as you can see, there's a little grommet here. So when you've got that plugged in, you can close the drawer. This is the coax. If you're ever a cable guy, people always ask me where the cable is. That's where you plug your cable in. And then as you can see, really cool LED light strips. There's your surge protector as well. Another optional feature. Um, for those of you that have a surge protector, it doesn't mean that you can't have a backup one, but it's really a good idea to have one on your coach for sure. Uh, having two might be even better. Here's your Oasis. Again, this is a dual loop hydronic system. All that's doing is giving you better zone control. And this is really the powerhouse for not only your heat for your water, but also for your uh, heat on colder days. So it's a really important por portion of the coach. And Numar has got an exclusive right to the Oasis system. They're the only RV manufacturer that carries what is typically a marine grade system. Okay, so here we go. Last slide, vacuum tubes. And then drum roll, please. All new for 2023, Lithionics. Um, so I have eight AGM batteries. They take up pretty much this entire bay. Look at how cool that system is. So these are 320 amp hour batteries. You can get an actual, uh, you can get one more, so you can get 960 total amp hours on this coach. Um, but just as you can see, much more uh, efficient use of space, much lighter weight. Um, and these batteries uh, have been used in smaller B-Class vehicles for so long. Uh, Numar was very, very cautious in introducing uh, this, uh, this new lithium system into their RVs. And, you know, honestly, with AGMs, you've got, you know, 800 amp hours. Uh, but with this Lithionics system, you can have 960 amp hours of battery storage. And it's, it's just really nice to have that reduction in weight, giving you the ability to have heavier um, payloads with you. Here's that other half of your uh, 150 gallon fuel supply. Uh, a little faster charging on those Lithionics, more manageable, you can actually read them. And then they're gonna give an even draw to all of your appliances. So for those of you that spend a lot of time in your RVs, um, your appliances really like to have a consistent uh, supply of power. And that's what that Lithionics system really does is it gives all of your appliances and your coaches comp consistent supply of power. And when it gets down to a certain point, it goes, oh, we don't have enough power. And it will go ahead and turn that generator on for you. Uh, again, that generator is located here in the front of the coach. So we're going to open that up so we can see. Here's the brains of the operation. Hopefully you don't spend too much time in here, but if you do need a spare fuse, they're here on the left. Uh, now, I did mention that we had these. Uh, you can see under that security light, there's a camera there for your 360. Here is your left-hand camera, so when you're turning left, you can see down the side of the coach. Uh, you'll also see that we have a camera up here in the front. So that's part of your 360 camera. 
And then you'll note that on the Dutch star, you've got, instead of a body color uh, convex mirror, you've got these beautiful chrome convex mirrors. And your turn indicators are out here, so they're very easy for someone to see. If you're trying to get over, there's a guy next to you, he'll know that you need to move. Uh, again, this is a whole new front end cap. Look at the size of this windshield. And of course, this is uh, one of our four paint options available to you, all new for 2023. Uh, again, these are our new and improved Silver Star headlights. Uh, so brighter headlights going down the road, better visibility. Um, again, you know, being able to have them uh, set to go on bright automatically. So when you're coming around turns, you're not blinding oncoming traffic, which of course would make things a little bit dicey. Uh, it's just really cool that Numar is bringing all of this technology that we're used to having on a day-to-day -day drive uh, into our vehicles that we're driving that are big, that are robust. So they're not just you know your nimble little BMW, but now your Dutch Star is gonna have all of that great haptic feedback. You know, you've got that optional mobilized system here. So you can see that right here underneath, right behind that, right behind there, and integrated here into the bumper. Uh, so you've got you know the ability to have uh, your cruise control set. Now, keep in mind that is an optional feature. As I mentioned earlier, that lane tracking package with the haptic feedback is standard, but the cruise control that is adaptive is an optional feature. It's a great safety feature. It will actually stop the coach. It might not keep you out of an accident, but it would certainly help to mitigate any kind of accident that might happen if you're not paying attention and someone slams on their brakes in front of you. So really cool feature again, bringing it much more into what we're used to in our really nice high-end uh, vehicles. Uh, again, 10 kilowatt uh, quiet diesel Onan generator. And then here is your airline, and then you also have a hot water line, another optional feature here to the front of the coach. Um, but as, I, as I've said over and over again, Numar just keeps making it better. If you have uh, any questions, any comments, any concerns, please list them below. I know that I, say things more than once sometimes. Uh, these are live videos, so thank you for being kind. If you'd like to reach out to me for any literature, you can reach me at katie.oneal at transwest.com or just shoot me a text. And I'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in and taking a look at the 2023 Numar Dutch Star, all new for this year, uh, all new for you. Let us get you on the road and out there camping. Thank you again so much.